Today we're gonna learn a crazy fast way to add the matte effect or the faded effect in Photoshop. So here's what you need to do. Here we are in Photoshop and the first thing that you need to do is to create an exposure adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose exposure. And just simply do one thing, increase the offset. Boom, you have added that faded effect. Now, how does that matte effect work? It increases the brightness in the shadows it also takes away the details in the shadows. You can do that as well by increasing gamma correction. So let's increase it a bit like that. And it looks exciting. Increase the offset a bit. Boom. Now let's have a look at the before and after. So this is the before. This is the after that faded Instagram-ish effect. Let's move on to another image. It also will work simply by adding the exposure, increase the gamma correction, we are deleting the details in the dark areas. When we increase the gamma correction, it makes the dark areas darker, which means it clips some areas for us to add a fake brightness by using offset. So this is fine. And then we're gonna add some offset just like that. Now have a look at this one. Isn't this exciting? Have a look at the before and after before after. So if you're looking for that kind of an effect, you can try this as well. Now what you can do, you can take the brush, okay, and paint in some highlighted areas, okay. Let's decrease its size, make it softer, and with black color, just paint in some areas of her hair. So like that, you can add some highlights in those particular areas to really make them pop and paint on her face. So you can do this kind of stuff. Now have a look at this. Have a look. You can also paint in some areas white we don't want it all over the place just in some areas and there you go you've got that shine of the hair on the face so have a look before after you can also apply mask with that you can also just decrease the density of the mask click on the mask and decrease the density of it effect of the mask just increase it a bit and there we go now let's move on to this one you can also do it very easily with levels and the advantage with levels is that you can add some color tints to it so click on the adjustment layer icon and choose levels and simply do the same. Take away the details from the shadows and then add that fake brightness before, after. Same result. Now, if you wanted to add something, for example, if you just, okay, this is fine. Now, if you added, wanted to add some blues, so you would go to blues and then do the same thing. If you just increase this, it will just add a flat blue to the shadows. It won't look nice. You want to restrict it, okay? You want to restrict it to the clipped areas. So increase it like that. And then have this higher or equal to this one, okay? So if this is 21, this has to be larger than 21. Just keep that in mind. Matte stuff. Something like that. Okay, that looks fantastic. Probably you want it to have a little more green or something like that. Does green look nice? You figure it out for yourself. So there you go, the crazy fast way to add the matte effect by using levels and exposure. And that's all there is. I hope this video was helpful and if this was, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not to subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.